Hello everybody, my name is Rahul and in this video we'll be taking a look at the Unpack Me Challenge from the Pico CTF 2022 Capture the Flag competition. Now this was a fairly easy challenge and we'll be trying to understand the basics behind it. So it says that can you get the flag, reverse engineer this binary. So I'll copy this link and what I'll do is I'll click on the web shell and it'll, it'll prompt you for a username and password which I've already done it. And what I'll be typing here is wget this. And as the name suggests, it says unpack me UPX. So this gives me a, word, a, a type of hint that this has been compressed using a packer called as UPX. So what is UPX? Let me just show you what is UPX. So UPX is a packer and a compressor. So it is generally used by malware authors in order to obfuscate their code. Now, even if the code is obfuscated, it will still run. So this is one of the benefits of using a packer. So let me try to run file and pack me.upx and you'll see that it is elf 64 bit LSB executable. But as you can see, there is no section header. So one of the things that we'll try to do is UPX because it was compressed using UPX. So we'll be decom uh, decompressing it using UPX tag D followed by the name. As you can see, it says unpacked one file. So let's just try to see MOD plus X and let's just try to run it. Again, it will say that what's my favorite number. If I try to run one, two, three, four, it says that, sorry, that's not it. So one of the things that you can try to do is run strings less. I'm sorry about that small L. And here you'll see that you don't get anything much interesting. So what do you do? There are a couple of things that you can try to do here, but I'll try to show them one by one. So L trace unpack me, sorry for the unpack me UPX. Okay, so L trace is not available on this machine. So it is available on Linux. So what we'll try to do is as soon it will show you the instructions on the screen and what what happens in the in the process that you uh, it might leak some flags as well or the number itself so i have downloaded it onto my local machine as well and as you can see if i try to run unpack my upx i've already unpacked it let's try to use redare since on my mac it doesn't support elf so i'll be using tag w to just open it up and let's just analyze everything so aaa is for analyzing and Let's just wait for it to do its thing. And then let's type AFL. So AFL is analyzing function and then it will list as well. So AFL, let's just try to run PDF. If there's a main function, let's just see if there is a main function or oh, there are a couple of functions. Let's just try to, you know, guess. So PDF at the rate main will show you the main function. And as you can see, it is moving some characters onto these registers. And then I think it will do some computation. But let's just not uh, go into that. It says what is my favorite number. So this is where the execution starts. It will print F and it is loading something onto the memory. This is where the scan of gets called. And as you can see, this is the compare instruction, this one. So let's just copy this part because it is comparing our thing with this. And if I copy it, you'll see that this is the number. So let's just try to run again. And as you can see, we get the flag right here. So there will be a couple of more things that we could try to do. We could try to, uh, because there is a rotate encrypt function being called. So I'll try to see if we can do something else with this as well, because the flag is inside it. We do not have to use Ghidra, but we'll try to use reverse engineering tools as well. So let's just see. Thank you guys. This is it for the video.